Hello, CAA Facebook friends and CAA members. I would like to invite you to join us for the CAA Carriage Quiz for March 2021. Um, we are actually going to run this again. We did run it earlier, but we had some problems with the um, video. So we're going to try again. So CAA quiz warm up around. If you've never played before, we do do a couple of practice sessions so that um, you can get an idea of how it works. Please feel free to leave comments or, or your answers or requests for inf more information about a topic in the chat area. Um, we will try to reach them as we go along. But here we go with CAA warm up around. What color? Should carriage driving clubs be? Is it A, black, B, white, or C, brown? What color should carriage driving gloves be? This is warm up question one. And the answer is B, C, brown. We should have brown um, gloves. And it looks like our sound is working well, so that's fantastic. What color should carriage driving gloves be? C, brown. Here we go with the warm-up question two. What color should carriage driving reins be? Now, we asked about the rain, or excuse me, the gloves before. Here we are asking about the carriage driving reins. Should they be A, black, B, white or C, brown? And the answer is C, brown. Okay, so I'm so glad that you were able to join us today. It is a Thursday, March 18th, and we are ready for the Carriage Association of America's CAA Carriage Quiz. Here we go, round one, question one. There are two common ways to balance two-wheel carts. What are they? Is it A, moving the seat and or axle, B, moving the seat and or rain rail, or C, shortening the shafts and or changing the paint color? So round one, question one again. What are two common ways to balance two wheeled carts? What are they? Moving the seat and or axle, which is A. B, moving the seat and or ring rail. Or C, shortening the shafts and or changing the paint color. Okay, round one, question two. This vehicle was built for parade purposes, generally, and was used by bands and circuses. What is it? Is it A, a barge, B, a bandwagon, or C, a Landau? Round one, question two. This vehicle was built for parade purposes, generally, and was used by bands and circuses. What was it? Is it A, a barge, B, a bandwagon, or C, a Landau? All right, thank you, Christy, for joining us today. Appreciate that. Okay, round one, question three. Beer wagons often have sides slanted in to keep beer kegs stacked three high from rolling away. What is another easily identifiable trait of these wagons? Is it A, high driver's seat, B, short body, or C, dog seat? Beer wagons often have sides slanted in to keep beer kegs stacked three high from rolling away. What is another easily identifiable trait of these wagons? Is it A, high driver's seat, B, short body, or C, dog seat? Round one, question four. A term the tr carriage trade applied to any vehicle that was modified from an old style into a new or more serviceable type. This usage came from the horse trade where it meant to make a horse seem younger by altering its teeth. Is it A, Black Mariah, B, Jenny Lind, or C, Bishop? Round one, question four. 
again. A term, the carriage trade, applied to any vehicle that was modified from an old style into a new or more serviceable type. This usage came from the horse trade where it meant to be make a horse seem younger by altering its teeth. Is it A, a Black Mariah, B, a Jenny Lynn, or C, Bishop? Around one, question five. Arguably the most mispronounced and misspelled vehicle, this carriage was very popular in the early 19th century. The body was coach length, mounted on sea springs. Many were constructed so that passengers could recline at full length. This is a picture of one that Brewster and company made. Is it A, a Britska, B, a Britain wagon, or C, Brett? Arguably the most mispronounced and misspelled vehicle, this carriage is, was very popular in the early 19th century. The body is coach length, mounted on sea springs. Many were constructed so that the passengers could recline at full length. Is it A, a Briska, B, a Britain wagon, or C, Brett? Round one, question six. A simply constructed vehicle, highly associated with the American West. Originally a four spring vehicle made with ash or other springy wood made without springs. What is it? Is it A, a bucker, B, nighthawk, or C, buckboard? Round one, question six. A simple constructed vehicle, highly associated with the American West, Originally a four-wheel vehicle made with ash or other springy wood made without springs. What is it? Is it A, a bucker, B, nighthawk, or C, buckboard? Christy's got a couple of answers here going. Okay, good for you. Okay, let's see if we're right. Here we go. Round one, question one, answer. There are two common ways to balance two-wheel carts. What are they? A, moving the seat and or the axle. Okay, that's the answer. If you move the seat and or the axle, you can rebalance a two-wheel cart. Around one and question two, answer. This vehicle was built for parade purposes, generally, and was used by bands and circuses. What is it? And this is a bandwagon. This vehicle was built for parade purposes generally and was used by bands and circuses. It is B, bandwagon. Round one, question three, answer. Beer wagons often have sides slanted in to keep beer kegs stacked three high from rolling away. What is another easily identifiable trait of these wagons? And the answer is A, a high driver's seat. And that's why it's important to know that they were stacked very high so they could look over those um, beer kegs to see where they needed to back up. A high driver's seat was an identifiable trait of a beer wagon. Round one, question four, answer. The term the carries trade applied to any vehicle that was modified from an old style into a new or more serviceable type. This usage came from the horse trade where it meant to make a horse seem younger by altering its teeth. And the answer here is Bishop. This was a tough one. A Black Mariah and a Jenny Lynn are two different types of vehicles. The term the carriage trade applied to any vehicle that was modified from an old style into a new or more serviceable style was a Bishop. Around one. Question five, answer. Arguably the most mispronounced or misspelled vehicle. This, ve this carriage was very popular in the early 19th century. The body was coach length, mounted on sea springs. Many were constructed so that passengers could recline at full length. And the answer here is Britska. We use um, for our resource for these, the carriage terminology historic dictionary by Birkenbach. And there's about five or six different ways to spell this carriage in here and how to pronounce it. So Britska, which is related to a Brett, but it's not the same. A 
a simply constructed vehicle highly associated with the American West, originally a four-wheeled vehicle made with ash or other springy wood and without springs, and that is a buckboard. Round one, question six, the answer is buckboard. It was a simply constructed vehicle highly associated with the American West. A bucker and a nighthawk are terms for um, uh, calves that ran at night. So give yourself a big thumbs up if you got that. Round two, are you ready? Now these questions were created by Dick Leahy, which we appreciate him sending them in. In full livery, a coachman's coat would have four buttons from the waist to the bottom of the skirt on the back of the coat. How many buttons would be on the back of a groom's coat? A, four, B, two, or C, six? Round two, question one. In full livery, a coachman's coat would have four buttons from the waist to the bottom of the skirt on the back of the coat. How many buttons would be on the back of a groom's coat? Is it A, four, B, two, or C, six? Round two, question two. Bradley clips or Bradley couplers may be used in which of the following ways? Is it A, horseshoes used on icy surfaces, B, shaft couplers, or C, fasteners for side curtains? Bradley clips or Bradley couplers may be used in which of the following ways? A, horseshoes used on icy surfaces, B, shaft couplings, or C, fasteners for side curtains? Which of the following definitions defines string halt? A, an equine neuromuscular condition where the hind legs are raised in a high stepping jerky motion. B, a cav cavalry term for commandeering, commanding all the horses to immediately stop. Or C, a way of stopping a driving horse with very little pressure on the reins. Which of the following definitions defines string halt? Is it A, an equine neuro neuromuscular condition where the hind legs are raised in a jerky stepping movement? B, a cavalry term for commanding all the horses to immediately stop? Or C, a way of stopping a driving horse with little pressure on the reins? Roller bolts could be found on which of the following parts of a, question, of a carriage? is round two, question four. Roller bolts could be found on which of the following parts of a carriage? A, the axle, B, the folding top, or C, the splinter bar? Roller bolts could be found on which one of the following parts of a carriage? A, the axle, B, the folding top, or C, the splinter bar? Round two, question five. How are we doing out there? You guys getting your answers okay? What type of vehicle would be associated with the Hamiltonian and Dan Patch? A, sulky, B, sleigh, or C, marathon vehicle? What type of vehicle would be associated with the Hamiltonian and Dan Patch? So this is a standard bread question. A, sulky, B, sleigh, or C, marathon vehicle? Round two, question six. Which one of the following bits is not commonly used with driving horses? A, Buxton, B, Pelham, or C, Liverpool? Again, this is round two, question six. Which of the following bits is not commonly used with driving horses? A, Buxton, B, Pelham, or C, Liverpool? CAA quiz, round two answers, here we go. Okay, round two, question one, answer. In full livery, a coachman's coat would have four buttons from the waist to the bottom of the skirt on the back of the coat. How many buttons would be on the back of a groom's coat? And that would be six. The answer is C, six. 
Round two, question two, answer. Bradley clips or Bradley couplers may be used in which of the following ways? And that would be B, they are shaft couplings. Bradley clips or Bradley couplers may be used in which of the following ways? And the answer is B, shaft couplers. Okay, round two, question three. Which of the following definitions defines string halt? A, it's an equine neuromuscular condition where the hind legs are raised in a high stepping jerky mo movement. And there are two types of string halt. So something to read up on. You might have that as a question on your level two CAA driver proficiency. And just as a side note, um, there are thoughts that perhaps Shakespeare named this disease, this condition. Around two, question four, answer. Roller bolts could be found on which one of the following parts of a carriage? A, axle, B, folding top, or C, splinter bar? And the answer is C, splinter bar. Roller bolts can be found on the splinter bar. Round two, question five, answer. What type of vehicle would be associated with the Hamiltonian and Dan Patch? And that would be the Sulky. What type of vehicle would be associated with Hamiltonian and Dan Patch? I'm sure, some famous horses. And that would be a Sulky. Round two, question six, answer. Which one of the following bits is not? commonly used with driving horses, and that would be the pelham. Which one of the following bits is not commonly used with driving horses? And that would be B, pelham. Here we go with round three. I hope you have your answers ready. Now these ones are um, looking at specifically the Carriage Journal covers. And so round three, question one, what type of vehicle is on this cover? Is it A, a dog cart phaeton, B, a pony chase, or C, a Landau? Round three, question one, what type of vehicle is on this carriage journal cover? Is it A, dog cart phaeton, B, pony chase, or C, Landau? Round three, question two. What type of vehicle is on this cover? Is it A, a dog cart? B, Victoria? Or C, a rally cart? What type of vehicle is this? Is it A, a dog cart? B, Victoria? Or C, rally car? Round three, question three. What type of vehicle is on this cover? Is it A, a milk float? B, Opera Bus, or C, Meadowbrook? What type of vehicle do you think this is? Is it A, Milk Float, B, Opera Bus, or C, Meadowbrook? Round three, question four. On this cover, what type of vehicle is it? Is it A, a limousine, B, a handsome cab, or C, a country gig? Round three, question four, what type of vehicle is this? Is it A, a limousine, B, handsome cab, or C, country gig? Round three, question five, on the cover of this carriage journal, what type of vehicle is it? Is it A, an omnibus, B, a hearse, or C, a jaunting wagon? What type of vehicle is this? Is it A, an omnibus? B, a hearse, or C, a jaunting wagon? And our last question in round three. What type of vehicle is this in the front? This is a little bit harder one. The back vehicle is a tandem cutter. We can see he's a little higher, and this is a tandem cutter. What type of vehicle is on the, in the front? Is it an Albany sleigh, 
a speed cutter or a hub runner sleigh? Is it A, an Albany sleigh, B, a speed cutter, or C, a hub runner sleigh? So round three answers. Are you ready? Have you figured out what your answers are? You can put them in the comment section. Share them with us. We are playing for bragging rights. Here we go. On the October 2017 cover of the Carriage Journal, this is a pony chase. Again, this is a pony chase on the October 2017 cover of the Carriage Journal. Round three, question two answer. This March 13th cover of the Carriage Journal has a rally car on it. This is a rally car on the cover of the March 2013 Carriage Journal. Round three, question three, answer. What type of vehicle is this on the August 2017th Carriage Journal? And it would be a milk float. Milk floats were used to deliver milk, particularly in England. And if you happen to join us at any of the Royal Windsor Horse Shows um, with, that we've been to, um, you probably saw one of these. This is a milk float on the cover of the August 2017th Carriage Journal. Around three, question four. A country gig graces the spring 1994 cover of the Carriage Journal. Again, this is a country gig on the spring 1994 Carriage Journal. So what cover, what type of vehicle is it on the March 2007 edition of the Carriage Journal? Well, that would be an omnibus. And this is one of the Gloria Austin collection vehicles. What type of vehicle is on this cover? It is an omnibus on the March, 20, March 2007 edition of the Carriage Journal. Round three, question six, answer. The back vehicle is a tandem cutter. What type of vehicle is the front vehicle? And this is a speed cutter. You can kind of see it's a little bit hard on the screen because it's so small, but the person in the back is much higher up and so that they'd be able to see over the tandem. Round four, are you ready? Here we go, round four. These horses are competing in what? Is it A, a sleigh derby? B, a horse driving trial, or C, cones. These horses are competing in what? Round four, question one. Is it a sleigh derby? B, a horse driving trial, or C, cones. Round four, question two. A plentium, a four-wheeled ceremonial chariot featuring iron components, beautiful bronze and tin decorations, as well as ropes and floral decorations was discovered almost intact. Where was it found? Was it Italy, Brazil, or Germany? A plentium, a four-wheeled ceremonial chariot featuring iron components, beautiful bronze and tin decorations, as well as ropes and floral decorations, was discovered almost intact. Where was it found? A, Italy, B, Brazil, or C, Germany? Round four, question three. Thomas Jefferson wanted one of these very badly, but found the price too high. To calculate the distance a carriage had traveled, the driver multiplied the wheel circumference by the number of its revolutions. What is it? Is it A, a strake, B, a slip tongue, or C, odometer? Thomas Jefferson wanted one of these, but found the price too high. To calculate the distance a carriage had traveled, the driver multiplied the wheel circumference by the number of its revolutions. What is it? Is it A, strake, B, slip tongue, or C, odometer? Round four, question four. What type of shaft is shown here? 
Is it A, a dropped heel or single bend? B, a double bend? Or C, a swan neck? What type of shaft is shown here? For round four, question four. Is it A, a drop heel or single bend? B, a double bend? Or C, a swan neck? Round four, question five. This type of turnout with one horse in front of another is called a what? Is it A, a random, a B, a tandem, or C, a pair? This type of turnout with one horse in front of another was called a what? Is it a random, a tandem, or a pair? The last question in round four, question six. This vehicle is called a what? Is it a Meadowbrook? A, B, a governess cart? Or C, Landau? This vehicle is called a what? A Meadowbrook? a governor's cart, or a Landau? Are we ready for the answers? Ready or not, here we come. Round one, or excuse me, question one, round four, answer. These horses are competing in a sleigh derby. They look like they're having a lot of fun competing in a sleigh derby. Round four, question two, answer. Plenium, a four-wheeled ceremonial chariot featuring iron components, beautiful bronze and tin decorations, as well as ropes and floral decorations, was discovered almost intact. Where was it found? And the answer is Italy. It was found in Pompeii. Round four, question three, answer. Thomas Jefferson wanted one of these but found the price too high. To calculate the distance the carriage had traveled, the driver multiplied the wheel circumference by the number of its revolutions. What is it? It is C, an odometer. Thomas Jefferson wanted an odometer. To calculate the distance the carriage had traveled, the driver multiplied the wheel circumference by the number of its re revolutions. And that's for an odometer. Round four, question four. What type of shaft is shown here? And this is A, a dropped heel or single bend. Drop heel or single bend is what we're looking at here. Round four, question five, answer. This type of turnout with one horse in front of another is called a what? And this is a cute little tandem of Shetlands. Round four, question five. What type of turnout with one horse in front of another is this? This is a tandem. The answer is B. Round four, question six. The answer to this is governess cart. This is a governess cart. So thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you had fun and enjoyed this. I do want to let you know that on March 26th at 7 p.m., we will have another CAA Friday night webinar. Andre Jetter from, um, from Colonial Williamsburg will be talking to us about the Cleveland Bay. And then on uh, April 16th, we will have a special session on how to purchase a carriage. So if you're a CAA member, those webinars are free to you. Um, if you are not a CAA member, and why are you not a CAA member? Um, you can purchase them here on Facebook um, for $9.99, access to them. Um, that is through our Facebook events. If you are a CAA member, of course they are free to you. If you would like to become a CAA member, you can do that at caaonline.com. And we hope you'll join us for both those webinars and as a member. Thank you and have a great day.